Congratulations, Thank this you. is amazing. Um, I've loved watching your career in your films. Blood Diamond still is one of my favorite films oh, ever. Um, and I think what I love about this film, not only is it a great character piece, but you brilliantly put in all these political aspects mm -hmm. that were going on in the world at the same mm -hmm. time. How did you decide where to fit those in and why you wanted to put those in? Why were they so important to telling the story? Well, as we began to talk about making the movie, I realized that there was a public story and a private story. And the public story is obviously the, 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 the war of two ideologies and two nations of, you know, of the Cold War. But it's also um, you know, about the struggle of, um, of the dominance of one over the other. And that's what chess is. Chess is also about two men and, and one attempting to literally to dominate the other. And so we came up with a, a, a motif of this kind of fugue where we would dance between the, the, the doc footage and the fake doc footage and the interviews and then the people in just narrative time talking about what's happening in the scenes, but then the very private subjective experience of Bobby Fischer with the sound, with the obsession over objects, with um, you know essentially a delusional reality. And I felt that by really weaving these strands together, you could create a very edgy experience of a film not dissimilar to what his experience of life must have been. And not only was it did it make it edgy, but it also made those intimate moments so much stronger as I a viewer. So. Yeah. You just were kinda it kind of was like, oh my God, this is really happening and it yeah. became so much more serious to yeah. see. And, and also because it took you in and out of different realities. Mm -hmm. You see the objective reality of the doc footage. You see the you know, the, 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 the people in the preparation for the match, but then you see his very unique, um, very upsetting um, experience. Tell me about working with Toby and what made you decide that he would be kind of the perfect person to play Bobby Fischer? Well, I think he knew from the very beginning um, that, 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 that it's something that, that interested him. And he's a, he's a very focused, very self-contained person himself. And he, uh, I think, just devoted himself to honoring Bobby, to understanding him, and then portraying him. And, and, I, and he did extraordinary amounts of homework and, 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 uh, and preparation. I bet for something like this, I feel like you have to. Yeah. I even went and watched all the old videos of Bobby Fischer because yeah. I remember seeing bits and pieces of it and my family talking about it, but I obviously don't remember a lot of it. Yeah. And so watching this made me want to go back and see so much more. Yeah. Um, how did the game of chess play into the way that you maybe directed the film or how did they relate to one another? Chess is this uh, strategic, um, process in which in which you're trying to game out a set of moves and when you look at a, the, the dramatic portrayal of a life you're trying to chart those moments and to in fact strategically understand where they fit so I think there's there's a certain amount of of analogy to literally trying to game out how a movie is going to play out and how the audience is going to respond to each moment. And, and that's not dissimilar, in fact, to what it must be like to, to play at that level. Although I can't play at that level, so I have my own, <laughs> you know, you know, my own uh, imagination of it. Awesome, thank you so sure. much. We can't wait to have it on our screens. Great.